Hey guys, Tom here. And today I thought I would just do something quick and kind of fun. Working off of a previous concept, I made kind of a piano that requires no resource pack, no repeating commands, no scoreboards, really no init function, just nothing. It's just advancements. And I'm sure a lot of you could uh, understand where this comes from. I kind of got the inspiration from a comment talking about how you can make a piano using the invisible villager trick. So if I do effect clear at E, Hey, here they are, invisible villagers, all of them. So this, this does take a lot of entities, uh, but it creates a piano that faces only one specific direction, and each of the keys is right-clickable with pretty good bounding. You can see that if I click here, it picks G, but as soon as I swap over, it picks A. So I did spend a lot of time to make sure that the bounding boxes are nice and uh, full to the key. I did not do black keys because I want to maintain my sanity. I just put a little black spacer so you know the spacing between the white keys. Uh, yeah, if I wanted to do black keys, it would be really hard because, again, like the minimum hitbox is uh, hard to edit. So, for example, like this key can actually... Well, it doesn't extend. Let me go to this one. This key can extend a little bit to the right. So, again, the minimum hitbox is hard to adjust. Uh, and it's a lot of entities, a lot of fine tuning, just changing tiny, tiny, tiny numbers. We're talking 0 0.05, 0 0.01. Uh, but yeah, there's a little bit of uh, Z fighting, but uh, you'll just have to live with that. I added kind of like a case around it. I added a, like one of those things to hold the sheet music, and I put little pegs on it, little pedestals. Uh, so it's, it runs the entire scale for the harp. Obviously, you can change the instruments if you go to piano, functions, key, and then you go to all these. There's 14 notes in total. You can change what instrument it is just by changing. Uh, when Sublime opens, I'll show you. But uh, So it uses the standard scale that the Minecraft wiki sets up. So this is G, and this goes to F, uh, the second scale. So F. A, B, C, D, E, F, and then it repeats G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So there's two G through F scales. Uh, and here we have uh, block.harp. You can change this, but you would have to change it for all of them. Uh, now, how it works, we're going to go over. It's very simple. This is like kind of the cool thing about it. Uh, so it takes no repeating command blocks, no scoreboards, no ray casting, nothing. It's very clean. Uh, so it has one advancement for each of the keys so if i go to uh, note zero then this advancement checks when i interact with an entity that entity being a villager who has the tag of key and the tag of note zero and then if i do it plays the function note zero and when it plays the function note zero it simply removes the ta the advancement from me so it can trigger again and it plays the sound at the nearest note zero tag. And it also bumps the armor stand down, the nearest note zero armor stand. That's how I do the push in effect. Uh, and then I also summon the uh, area effect cloud so that it can tell me what letter I pressed. Okay, so then we have bump down is very simple. So it gives it a tag and TPs it down if it doesn't have the tag. And then half a second later, it TPs all of the things that are pressed down back up. So if I do two, it'll put them back up at the same time. And this works kind of, you can just play the whole scale. Okay, so that's it. I'll leave the uh, data pack in the description. The build function is the insanity. If you want to create this thing, you don't need the main. Uh, the init is just to give it uh, no, so you don't get pushed by it. So you can walk through it. Uh, the build, you just have to play the build function, uh, and at a specific block and it will create it. So if I do, and it, it's, it works for multiple of them and it's multiplayer friendly. So if I do function piano build, I can just go like that and it'll make another. So I can play over here and it's different from this one. So it is multiplayer friendly just because advancements are multiplayer friendly. Simple as that. Uh, I don't have a way to kill it, so to kill it, you do kill at E tag equals key, and that will just kill everything. Uh, and I just have it set up to build another. Okay, so that's, uh, that is the piano. 
this is the insanity. So I summon an armor stand that has a slab turned to the side. He's looking down, so it's a vertical slab look. Uh, and then I summon the villager, and then I summon the uh, divider, black divider, which is a polished black stone pressure plate. Uh, so then I just repeat that over and over, but what I do is I make the villager shifted, right? And I TP him, uh, upwards. So you can see sort of, uh, it's hard to tell, but at some point they disappear, but that's just because this is actually a ramp. You, you really can't tell it cause it's by 0 0.001, but it is a ramp. You can kind of see at the end here that he protrudes a little bit there and over here he's not protruding at all. So it is like a very gradual ramp and that's how it's able to say, uh, pick only the thing that is visible here as opposed to the thing here because the thing here is uh, high. Well, pick, it's really kind of like an overlap. So you have uh, his head is here and then you have one that's overlapping it. So you'll pick the overlapped one over the one that's below for wherever it's overlapping. Mm -hmm. So you'll see there. Uh, and then you do the same kind of repeat it over and over. So you get kind of less than one whole head shaped hitbox regions. Uh, and then I just have a bunch of uh, summon armor stands for the casing and the legs. So if you guys thought that was cool, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, I was really sick for the past week, so I didn't have much time to get to anything really cool or make a cool tutorial. So I just wanted to do something for like an hour or so that just looks kind of pretty. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.